Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for August the 29th, read by Kirsty S. from the East Midlands in the United Kingdom. AA thought for the day. Step 1. No other kind of bankruptcy is like this one. Alcohol now becomes the rapacious creditor, bleeds us all of self-sufficiency and our will to resist its demands. Once this stark fact is accepted, our bankruptcy as going human concerns is complete. But upon entering AA, we soon take quite another view of this absolute humiliation. We perceive that only through utter defeat are we able to take our first steps toward liberation and strength. Our admissions of personal powerlessness finally turn out to be firm bedrock upon which happy and purposeful lives may be built. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 21. Thought to Consider Once we clear a hurdle, it doesn't seem that high. Acronyms, Steps Solutions to Every Problem in Sobriety Just for Today Reality I Had Feared From No Man is an Island I was spiritually bankrupt long before AA entered my life and long before alcoholism took over like a parasite under my skin. I had nothing, no faith at all to cling to. I had no faith in man because all along with my drinking I had lost faith in myself. I trusted no one, for others were but a mere reflection of my own self and I could not trust me. I got sober in AA and, like a miracle, the warm flood of reality I had feared for so long flowed over me and I was no longer afraid. I began to wonder why, along with sobriety, something new had come into my life. I began to have concern for others. This word concern, along with its sister consideration, was an alien thing to me. I had believed myself capable of falling in love. I had thought myself a loving mother. But these emotions, I now perceive, had been reflections of my own self-interest. Nothing penetrated beyond myself. I began in early sobriety to feel compassion for other drunks, then for my children, then for my ex-husband. This compassion, a feeling accompanied later by love, opened the door to a huge fortress within me which had been forever locked. Came to believe, pages 118-119. Daily Reflections I choose anonymity. We are sure that humility, expressed by anonymity, is the greatest safeguard that Alcoholics Anonymous can ever have. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 187. There are no rules in AA. I place myself where I want to be, and so I choose anonymity. I want my God to use me, humbly, as one of his tools in this program. Sacrifice is the art of giving of myself freely, allowing humility to replace my ego. With sobriety, I suppress that urge to cry out to the world, I am a member of AA, and I experience inner joy and peace. I let people see the changes in me and hope they will ask what happened to me. I place the principles of spirituality ahead of judging, fault-finding and criticism. I want love and caring in my group, so I can grow. As Bill sees it. Middle of the road. In some sections of AA, anonymity is carried to the point of real absurdity. Members are on such a poor basis of communication that they don't even know each other's last names or where each lives. It's like the cell of an underground. In other sections, we see exactly the reverse. It is difficult to restrain AAs from shouting too much before the whole public by going on spectacular lecture tours to play the big shot. However, I know that from these extremes we slowly pull ourselves onto a middle ground. Most lecture-giving members do not last long and the super-anonymous people are apt to come out of hiding, respecting their AA friends, business associates and the like. I think the long-time trend is toward the middle of the road, which is probably where we should be. Big Book Quote We constantly remind ourselves we are no longer running the show, humbly saying to ourselves many times each day, Thy will be done. We are then in much less danger of excitement, fear, anger, worry, self-pity or foolish decisions. We become much more efficient. We do not tire so easily, for we are not burning up energy foolishly as we did when we were trying to arrange life to suit ourselves. Into Action, page 87, 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. We cannot get along without prayer or meditation. 
On awakening, let us think about the 24 hours ahead. We consider our plans for the day. Before we begin, we ask God to direct our thinking. Our thought lives will be placed on a much higher plane when we start the day with prayer and meditation. We conclude this period of meditation with a prayer that we will be shown through the day what our next step is to be. The basis of all our prayers is, Thy will be done in me and through me today. Am I sincere in my desire to do God's will today? Meditation for the day. Breathe in the inspiration of goodness and truth. It is a spirit of honesty, purity, unselfishness and love. It is readily available if we are willing to accept it wholeheartedly. God has given us two things, his spirit and the power of choice, to accept or not as we will. We have the gift of free will. When we choose the path of selfishness and greed and pride, we are refusing to accept God's spirit. When we choose the path of love and service, we accept God's spirit and it flows into us and makes all things new. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may choose the right way. I pray that I may try to follow it to the end. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. My name is Kirsty and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.